Hello, welcome to my channel, another Bibliophile Reads. My name is Greg, and I am here today to announce my 20 books for the Booktube Spin number three, hosted by Rick McDonnell. Now, earlier this week, I put an announcement out on my channel asking other Booktubers to pick books for me, and 10 Booktubers uh, met that challenge and gave me some titles to choose from, and I am very satisfied with all the titles that were given to me. Some of them are rereads, and all of those rereads would be well worth revisiting. So I am very pleased with those results. Now what I have done is made my list into basically two sections. The first section is 10 books that I selected for myself, and they are arranged alphabetically by author. The second 10 were the books selected by other booktubers, and again, they are arranged alphabetically by author. Now, I am just going to read the titles of these books. I am not gonna to try to describe them in any way. Now, for the most part, I do not own physical copies of these books. They are eBooks or books that I'll have to purchase uh, in whatever format that I choose. So, book number one, Regeneration by Pat Barker. Book number two, Panthers and the Museum of Fire by Jen Craig. Number three, The Boatman's Daughter by Andy Davidson. Number four, He Died with His Eyes Open by Raymond Derrick. Number five, Human Acts by Han Kang. Number six, The Savage Stories of Conan by Robert E. Howard. Number seven, A State of Freedom by Neil Makarji. Number eight, The Memory Police by Yoko Ojoa. Number nine, Bangkok Wakes to the Rain by Chichua Sudbantasad. Number 10, Amatika by Karen Tidback. And now we are in to the second 10, and these are books selected by other booktubers. The first, is Geoffrey Chaucer's The Canterbury Tales, recommended by David Wiley. Now, I do own a physical copy of this book. This is his original English, and that is how I will attempt to read them. Now, I have read many of these tales before, but I've never read the whole book. Number 12, The Painted Bird by Jerzy Kaczynski, recommended by This Just In. Now, I have read this book before when I was uh, on summer break from college and I loved it and I listened to it as an audio version a few years ago and loved it again. So I'd be very eager to reread this book. Number 14, A Frolic of His Own by William Gaddis. Now, early this year, I read his novel, J.R., and I thought that was one of the best books that I have read in the past few years. So even though I own a copy of this, I have not read this, but I had to be very eager to get into it. Number 15, and that was recommended by We Damaged We. Number 14, or number 15, A Nazi and the Barber by Edgar Hilsenrath, recommended by Boquins and Books. I am not familiar with this book, but it is about um, someone impersonated, a, Jew, a Nazi impersonating a Jew. Number 16, Mudbound by Hilary Jordan, recommended by Cozy Reading with Quaker Cats. Number 17, Killing Kamadore by Horaki Mukami, recommended by Indian Cooks and Books. Number 18, Appointment in Samaria by Jean O'Hara, recommended by Michael K. Vaughn. Now, this is a book that I'd read almost 20 years ago, and I remember really liking it, and I would happily reread it. Number 19, Train to Pakistan by Kursawat Singh, recommended by Jay's Booktubing. And number 20, The Terror by Dan Simmons, recommended by Angry McMonster. Now, this is a book that I have read before. I think this is one of Dan Simmons' best books. It might even be his best book. So I'd very happily reread this. And that is my selection. I thank all the booktubers 
that made selections for me. I would happily read any one of them. Thank you, good night, and goodbye.